The market has rallied over 10% in the last three weeks, which is absolutely insane. Stocks like Nvidia have rallied over 40% in that same time period, just completely obliterating the shorts. But it's not just semiconductors leading the market stocks like Meta also rallying big time over 20% in the last three weeks. Goldman Sachs, the financials rallying big time. Goldman Sachs up over 17%. Even stocks like Walmart leading the way. Walmart rallying over 15% just in the past couple of weeks. Crypto is even roaring back. Bitcoin rallying over 30%. So what is going on? Just a few weeks ago, the market was worried about a potential recession. But now all of a sudden, it seems like the coast is clear and stocks are absolutely soaring. Well, for one thing, in his last several speeches, Jay Powell has signaled that the Fed will be cutting rates, and this is giving the market some encouragement. The market also agrees with that on a probability standpoint. According to the CME Fed Watch, the market is giving a 76% probability to a rate cut in the September 18th meeting. And if we just look out here in the meeting probabilities table, we can see that the market is suggesting a high likelihood for at least two additional rate cuts by year end. All of this culminating with the massive rally we've seen over the last couple of weeks. But there are other concerns on the horizon. Unemployment has been picking up, unemployment rising by 25% since last year. And this has been an indicator that has previously signaled in the last three recessions that a recession is imminent. While recession may not be starting today, it is definitely a concern looking out six to 12 months from now. But for now, the market is completely ignoring these fears over the last couple of weeks having a massive rally. So the question for us as traders is how are we going to play the market in the coming weeks? Let's take a look at our gamma exposure dashboard just to get a sense of how the market is positioning itself coming into this last week of August and into September. Here we're looking at the gamma exposure data for the SPY. Uh, we see that gamma exposure is positive. Total gamma is approximately 680 million. Basically, this number indicates that the market is in buy the dip, sell the rip mode. We can see how market participants are positioned all the way up from the 565 strike all the way up into the 580, 590 strike. This is, of course, going out further in time into the September and October expirations. And so basically what this means is that over time, the market will trade higher and lower, but in an uptrending pattern into these larger strikes. That is where the probabilities currently lie. The reason for that is open interest plus gamma effect when we're in positive gamma exposure territory, we typically see these uptrending moves in the market, similar to what we've seen since August 5th, similar to what we saw earlier this year. Basically, it's buy the dip, sell the rip. So every time we have one of these market dips, and really there hasn't been very many here over the last couple of weeks, but every time we have one of these market dips, basically buyers step in at these points and the environment in the options market is conducive to this continuing when we're in a positive gamma exposure environment. And so that's why we measure these factors as option traders primarily, but a lot of equity traders use this data too to time their entry points. This is something we posted back on August 9th. We were taking a look at the gamma exposure data for the SPY and you know one of the factors we were watching is the zero gamma level which if we zoom in here you can see is just around the 540 strike. We were just starting to come off of this low on August 5th so here we are August 9th, the market had already started rallying and we were watching this 540 strike to see if there was going to be a shift in gamma exposure with potential explosive move to the upside at that point. No matter what indicator you're looking at or whatever analysis you're conducting, it's always difficult to call the exact bottom like here on August 5th. You can make an educated guess, but it's really hard to to know whether there's going to be a retest back down to that low or whether the rally is going to continue on higher. In this case, our line in the sand was the zero gamma level at the 540 strike. If we come back here to our SPY chart, we can see that the 540 level did get breached here around August 13th. 
Of course, zero gamma has since shifted, but once that 540 level broke and we shifted into positive gamma exposure territory, that was a big signal that the rally had a good shot of continuing higher. These large gamma exposure concentrations really started growing out here at the 565, the 570. Even if we look, for example, if we go to the S&P 500 itself, let's just scroll up here and take a look. We see positive gamma exposure all the way up to the 6,000 strike. So this is the market positioning itself for moves into these levels. So now let's just take a look at a few names that we're watching. NVIDIA is a big one. NVIDIA hitting this big 130 target that we've been watching you know, over the last few weeks. Video just going straight up really didn't even provide uh, any decent entry points from a risk reward perspective. The shorts getting absolutely obliterated really unexpected from a market standpoint. A lot of people thinking that NVIDIA should have traded down even lower than 100. You know, it basically just opened up for 30 minutes on August 5th below 100 and never really got below that level since then. If we look further out in time, we see positioning here at the 140 and the 150 strike. This is going into the September and October expiration. This would be another a potentially 15% move on NVIDIA. There could be some consolidation or slight pullback next week, uh, potentially first week of September before continued upside, but the market is definitely positioning for that potential. Another name we're watching is Palantir. Palantir just having an insane move here over the last three weeks, now trading in the low 30s, if you can believe it, one of the things that we're watching though is if we look at the gamma data graph, going out in time, we see market participants continue to be bullish up to the 40 strike. Basically from 30 to 40, market participants are positioning bullishly. We barely see any negative gamma exposure. And so, you know, any pullback in this name looks to be a buy the dip opportunity. That's how the market is positioned for move in Palantir. One of the things that I like about the price development over the last week or two is we've been in this consolidation range here in the low 30s, some pullback uh, on Friday. And so I think, you know, any further pullback into around the 30 range, somewhere in this level here, looks to be an interesting opportunity, maybe between 30 and 31. That could be an interesting opportunity from a risk reward perspective. Another thing I like to look at is the 3D gamma surface model. This just gives us an idea of the expiration dates that everybody is focused on. So you can see in the September expiration, if we look here, this is the August 30th expiration. The 33 strike has a large positive gamma exposure concentration. If we come out here into September, we see large positive gamma uh, at the 31, 32, all the way up to 35. So, you know, I'm not expecting Palantir to hit 40 by September, although it is possible, but that's not our base case. But, you know, trading between 30 and 35 is certainly possible. That could lend itself to a strategy like a butterfly or maybe a double calendar, collecting a lot of premium as Palantir hovers in between the 30 and 35 range. That's, an, that's something that we might look at here in the coming weeks. Another name that I've been watching is Meta. Meta has a large gamma exposure concentration at the 550 strike and also at the 600 strike. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. This is a name we have not talked about too much lately. Price broke out of a major consolidation range over the last few weeks. We are in positive gamma exposure territory. This is our zero gamma level. We broke out of that uh, just a few days ago last week. A little bit more consolidation here, but gamma exposure at the 65,000 strike. And I believe if we just take a look here at our gamma data graph, let's go a little further out in time. Yes, we see large gamma exposure concentrated at 70,000, 75,000, and 80,000. That's not unusual for Bitcoin. I mean, most of the market players playing crypto and Bitcoin in particular are bullish. So we rarely see lots of negative gamma exposure, uh, especially in these large cyclical uptrends. And so basically the, the way we view this is a buy the dip scenario. And so as Bitcoin pulls back, you know, anywhere from three to 5%, we see more more market participants entering into the market. So for example, if you can imagine here, the 61,000 level is currently the zero GEX level. As the market
market would pull back into, for example, into this 63,000 strike or 61,000 strike, we would oftentimes see market participants start buying for a further leg higher into these higher strikes. We do like to keep an eye on crypto markets in general because this gives us an idea of the risk on appetite for the market overall. If you guys are interested in learning more, definitely check out our website, geeksoffinance.com. You can get access to the tools and analysis that we use on our dashboard. You can also get access to our Geek University course. This is included for all members. This is a five-hour course that goes through our approach on volatility, gamma exposure, trading strategy focused on the options market. So definitely check that out when you get a chance. Also, I'll put a link in the description to our trading community Discord. It's free to check out. Definitely come on in, say hi, we'd love to see you. Thanks so much everybody for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video.